A lot of people sometimes ask me why do you make buskin and how do you feel so confident with buskin? And I think it is because they don't know the benefits that you can get from buskin when you play some music on the street. And probably because they also think that only homeless people should do some music on the street, which is just strange. So today I want to explain why buskin has definitely some benefits and how it improved my life as a musician and as a person. So let's start with benefit number one, which is earning money. Earning money is a great benefit for a street performer, as it can put into developing your music career. For example, you could save up the money that you earn busking to upgrade your busking equipment, or to buy new stuff for your home studio setup. Or you can use that money to print your own CDs or business card to give people during your performances. But of course, you don't have to busk only for the money, as you can simply do it for the experience and for the fun as a musician. Which brings us to the benefit number two, which is develop as an artist. Busking is a huge help in developing your confidence as a performer, and it gives you an opportunity to hone your skills as a musician. But how? Well, you probably and you obviously know that when you play a song on the street and at home, they have the same chords and the same verse, and more or less you play them at the same rhythm. But there is an obvious difference when you busk on the street, which is not that obvious to be honest, but it is really a big difference, which is that when you play some music on the street, you train in a different way because you're training to play that song in front of an audience, which again, it's a big difference from training the same song at home while you are in your comfort zone, in your room, in front of your desk, and you know that if you make something wrong, you can start again. While if you are on the street and you're practicing in front of an audience, even if you're making something wrong, it is a good opportunity to learn from your errors. So busking on the street is a great ground to train before having a gig in a pub or before someone asks you to play for a wedding. And there is no doubt that you will receive feedback from the audience, positive and constructive, and you can put those at good use. So I think that busking is something that every musician should try because it's a fun way to train and to gain some experience while earning some money. And number three, we have the benefit of connecting with people. So there are a lot of buskers out there and instead of feeling the competition between you and them, it is best to embrace them. To be honest, when I started busking and after like two or three months of busking, which was the time that I needed to gain some confidence for myself, I started to feel competitive with other buskers because I was seeing that they had a huge equipment that I didn't have, they could sing songs that I didn't know but I wanted to sing, and they in general just had more experience than me because I was someone who was starting busking and it was my first time for me. So I felt a bit competitive when I started busking and also it doesn't look like because I am making YouTube videos and talking with you guys but I am also a, a shy person and a kind of an introvert one. So for me it was very hard to embrace other musicians because I had in my mind those thoughts like uh, Oh, probably he or she doesn't want to talk with me because I am not that good at busking or probably they don't want to talk to me because I don't know maybe I am better than them so they don't want to talk to me which is okay maybe I don't know maybe so I just had these thoughts in my mind when I started busking it took me a little bit to open up with other musicians and I found out that this kind of reasoning in my mind that wasn't allowing me to talk with them was a stupid one because you don't really know what other people Think until you go and talk to them. So at the end of the day, it is positive and convenient to embrace other buskers and musicians because this way you'll get to meet like-minded people who may be able to impart their wisdom, tips and experiences with you. So guys, this is Brandon. He's a busker from Galway. I met him one of the first time that I was busking here in town. That's correct. And he helped me a lot to start busking in town because he told me all the tips and tricks uh, to learn here between buskers about the rules on, on the streets, the spots, what time, about the guard and everything. Yes, that's, yeah. true, that's true. Well, you know, I, I've, I've, I've said that to, to a, a lot of guys that came in here. There's actually, there's actually some musicians out there who, who don't want to tell you this information. Um, yeah. You know, because for whatever reasons, they want to get these spots and certain, whatever, whatever the reason may be. Well, for me, I mean, I think there's plenty to go around, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. always willing to, I'm always willing to uh, give some information or give some tips. Good luck, Brandon.
Good luck! Thank you, thank you. Being nice to other buskers and musicians is the best way to be given recognition and it is really the best thing that you can do to connect with the community of musicians. This can improve your confidence and helping you to make new musician friends that you may want to collaborate with in the future. And it can also lead to you being offered some gigs or to play in a band, which is again good exposure for you. And this can simply be from word of mouth or different people recommending you or through the growth of your social media channel, which brings us to the benefit number four, free promotion. If you're serious about music and you want to become a professional musician, Buskin can help you to grow your fan base. You can gain a whole new legion of fans from your time spent busking and if you're doing it right, your music will get you noticed. In my opinion, it's not about the numbers of likes or the numbers of followers on Instagram that matters. What a professional musician wants is his or her music being listened by the people. And if the people like your music, well, that's the top achievement that you can get about working on your music because once someone becomes your fan they will find you in every social media platform so you don't have to work on that anymore but this doesn't mean that when you start your music career you have to work only on your music when i started busking i didn't have and i still don't have enough savings to pay someone to promote my music so even today i have to do all the promotion by myself when you busk on the street you can use a sign with your spotify links or social media links to promote yourself or you can ask a friend to take some pictures of you that you can then use to upload on your website or on your instagram and if you're busking in a touristic town there is a good chance that someone will take a video or a picture of you with your sign in front of you which is again free promotion if you already watched my videos you probably know that i also make busking cover videos which is another way to promote myself for free i just need a tripod a camera and just make some shots and try different shots uh, during a busking set oh yeah there is another way to promote yourself uh, for free which is i think one of the best things that you can do when you busk on the street and it is live streaming so there is a platform that i use for live stream now which is called reddit and reddit is a website where you can find topics and subtopics about everything literally everything and one of these topics in this website is called reddit live sessions where you can make live streamings this is something new that started in Reddit recently, the live stream thing. When I started to use the live streams on Reddit, I found out that sometimes not a hundred, but a hundred thousand people were watching my live streams when I was busking, which when I look at the screen, I said, a hundred K? Really? A hundred thousand people is a huge number and it's again another way to promote yourself for free. So I strongly recommend to give a try to Reddit and also the Reddit community is awesome. You can find really nice Redditors to talk with. The Redditors are the people who use Reddit, so they're called Redditors. But just keep in mind that Reddit is a place where you should not only take, but mainly give value of some sort, which in our case is value as musicians. And finally, at number five, we have the benefit of becoming a superhero. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell is to become a superhero when you're a busker, Tito? Well, I can explain. So sometimes when you go on the street and you're playing a song, there might be someone who will tell you, oh, thanks for the music music that you're playing today or something like uh, oh you made my day because I really love that song and every time that this happens to me it's like a delightful sensation because it means that I am doing something that people is really enjoying like for example when I was busking on the street during lockdown I went on the street just for the fun because I knew that I couldn't make that much money because the streets were empty but I found few people that were telling me that they were really appreciating the fact that I was giving them some music because it is a kind of a normal thing in Galway to have uh, music on the street because Galway is the capital of uh, buskers and musicians on the street and of music in general but yeah they were appreciating that I was giving them some form of normality what I'm trying to say is that you don't really realize the benefits you can give also to others as buskers so like superheroes a busker has his superpower and can make music and play song and also earn some money 
but you also give value to the people. And this is what busking should be first, giving value to others while also having fun playing some music on the street. And someday someone will ask you, how do you know so many songs? How can you sing with so much confidence in front of the people? Or how did you start? And with your answers, they might start to see you as an inspirational figure because you are doing something that they are not still doing. You have the chance to inspire those who are trying to get a little bit of confidence with your answers. And if you're doing it right, they will recognize your value and you will gain the benefit of becoming a sort of a superhero for them. Busking improved my life as a musician in many different ways, but mainly because I learned a ton of new songs. Now I know how to EQ my amp perfectly in different locations, and also because it gave me the opportunity to meet other musicians who have more experience than me, and it is always good to talk to other musicians and become friends with them. And also Busking improved my life as a person because, uh, to be honest, I discovered a new Tito. Like, I didn't know that I could sing with so much confidence in front of the people. I didn't know that I could learn many songs that fast. I didn't know that seeing someone smiling while I was playing a song could make me feel that happy. And I also learned that busking is not only about money. I started to enjoy more the process of preparing a song and give some value to the people, but also to myself. Like, when I realized that I could play new songs on the street in front of the people with confidence, I started to say to myself, oh, wow, I can really do this and I am so happy. So yeah, busking really helps you to gain a lot of confidence. So I strongly recommend to start busking if you are a musician like me. Okay, I probably convinced you to start busking after this video, right? I hope so, because busking is really a fun thing to do. You might be probably interested in watching this other video, where I tell how expensive a busking equipment can be. But for now guys, thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you with the next video.